Guardiola, Xavi, Puyol and company were outraged and were the protagonists of a strange and unprecedented moment in football. It was the King's Cup semi-finals and Barcelona were unwilling to play the second leg against Atlético de Madrid. El Barcelona sigue instalado en la línea de campo, firmes como si estuviera escuchando un himno representativo, pero no salta nadie y de fondo ese coro de silbidos que pueden escuchar a través de el sonido ambiente. The situation was tense and the image unbelievable. They didn't want to enter the pitch. The stands were almost empty and neither the referee nor the Atlético players knew what to do. Everyone was confused with what the culés were doing. Siguen los pitos de fondo y esto realmente es una situación francamente curiosa, por no decir ya directamente inédita en el fútbol español. The first leg match had been a dance of the colchoneros. Vicente Calderón had witnessed an overwhelming result that had them with a leg in the final. Ahí puede encontrar Carlos Aguilera, su terreno para expresarse la velocidad de Aguilera. Adelante del Fran de Boer, el centro, Jason Ray, que controla dentro del área. Gol, 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 gol. Gol del Atlético de Madrid. Aguilera, banda derecha. Le está presionando ni más ni menos que Rivaldo. Llega la ayuda de Fran de Boer. Aguilera que quiere salir. Se mete en el área de jugada peligrosa. Aguilera dentro del área. Aguilera juega de gol para la Leti. Deja atrás. Y gol, golazo. Sí, es de los primeros 25 minutos no entró en juego. Es decir, yo no sé si había tocado un balón como mucho, pero no en las condiciones que lo suele hacer. Y bueno, la primera que entró fue el gol. La segunda llevó mucho peligro. Y bueno, cada vez que la coge ahora, pues el balsa por ahí tiembla un poco. Atención a ese tercer oh. gol, 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 gol. The result of the first leg had been decisive, but Barcelona didn't expect that for the second leg, they were only going to be able to present themselves with 10 starters and a reserve. The reason? Several players were booked to play for the national team, and despite the fact that the Blaugrana had made every attempt to postpone the date, the Spanish Federation finally denied them, so they turned up to comply, but also to show their dissatisfaction with the decision. The situation was very uncomfortable for Atlético's players but also for Barcelona's own players, as well as for the few fans who came to the Camp Nou in the hope of seeing their team's comeback. However, of course, Barcelona players just showed up to show respect for their fans and rivals. Suponemos que el simbólico sirviera en el del partido y ahora tendrá que esperar. Se retira el Barça, se retira el Barça al terreno de juego. Y también se va a retirar el Atlético de Madrid. Acto seguido, se ha retirado el Barça. El Barça se ha ido camino del túnel de vestuarios. Aquí las 2.000 personas que siguen en pie, sobre todo en la zona de tribuna, están silbando eh, realmente fuerte por esta situación tan, tan absolutamente curiosa. Y ahora el Atlético de Madrid, vemos también a su delegado. The Catalan fans weren't happy and they showed all their anger by shouting at the visitors. They couldn't believe that their team would miss out on the final just because they were short of players to play. El público está gritándole a la Leti a segunda a segunda. ¿Sí? El eco del Camp Nou, sobre todo vacío, hace que se escuche bien. Sí, más doloroso aún para los jugadores del Atlético, ¿no? Lo están pasando muy mal en la liga y, bueno, tienen que afrontar esta situación que ellos no tienen nada que ver en el asunto. Y la verdad, pues, que, que sí les hace daño estos, estos gritos porque la verdad que están con un, con un pie casi en segunda, ¿no? Y van a sufrir mucho para poder salvarse. Barcelona would receive an exemplary sanction and in addition to losing the match by walkover, they wouldn't be able to participate in the next edition of the King's Cup and had to pay a hefty fine of 2 million pesetas. However, as the months went by, 
the Blaugrana ended up being granted a pardon and were able to play without any problems in the local tournament of the 2000-2001 season. However, of course, that didn't take away the significance of the sit-in. The press described the attitude taken by Bengal's Barcelona as cowardly and also as an insult to football and to the rivals. <laughs> The image is one for posterity, because nobody expected that a multi-champion team like Barcelona would decide not to show up to play a match as important as that one. It didn't matter if they were short of players. For the football fans and the press, that match had to be enjoyed regardless of the circumstances.